This next question deals with a topic called net listing. Essentially, all that they're asking you with a net listing is how much does the seller have to sell the house for in order to get a certain amount of proceeds back in their pocket, which is called the net. In this particular question, it says a seller wants to net a minimum of $280,000 from the sale of her home. It tells you the closing costs are expected to be $4,000 and her broker charges a 6% commission. The question asks you how much does this home have to sell for in order to meet all of these conditions. It's really fairly straightforward. Remember that the sales price includes the commission and the amount of money that has to be paid for closing costs as well as the amount that the seller wants to net. In other words, whatever the house sells for, the commission needs to be paid, the closing costs need to be paid, and whatever is left over is called the seller's net. So in this case, we are told that the seller wants to net $280,000, which means she needs to sell the house for more than that in order to meet all of these conditions. Well, what else does she need to do? She needs to be able to pay the $4,000 in closing costs. In addition to that, she's got to pay the broker's commission. Well, how much was the commission? We're told here that the commission was 6%. In other words, after that 6% comes out, how much is really left over? Well, the answer is 94%. If 6% went to the broker, then 94% went to pay the closing costs, and the remainder was the seller's net. So how do we do this? Well, we're going to add the 280,000 and the 4,000 together, and then we're going to divide by 94%. In other words, again, 100% minus 6%, and our answer is going to be $302,127.66. Sometimes when we get into net listings, people say, well, is a net listing legal or is it illegal? For the purposes of a math question, something like this, it doesn't make any difference. If they're asking you to identify how much the seller nets out of the sale of the property, this is the calculation in order to do that. The next question we're going to deal with deals with brokerage commissions. In this example, it says that a house listed for $375,000. Be careful, that's the list price. Brokers don't get paid based on the listed price, they get paid based upon the sales price. Here it tells you that the house sold for 94% of the list price. The total commission was 6%, again, of the actual sales price, and the commission was split equally between the cooperating brokers. That would be the listing broker and the selling broker. Then it says if the selling agent is on a 70% split, what is the broker's share of the commission? Now, a commission question is typically very, very easy. You just take the sales price times the commission amount. In this case, they've made it a little more complicated because they've added some other variables into this. Well, let's see how we do the math to solve this. First thing is the house was listed for 375, but sold for 94% of that. So 375 times 94% would give us the actual sales price. The total commission agreed to was 6% of the sales price. So they multiply that by 6%, and the total commission is 21,150. Be careful, that may be answer A, but that's not what you were asked to find. As we continue along, that 21,150 is divided between two brokers. Remember it said it was shared equally between the cooperating brokers. That would be 50% to each side. So if we divided the 21,150 by two, that would tell us that each side received $10,575 for the commission. Be careful, that might be answer B, but it's still not the correct answer. What you were asked is what is the broker's share of the commission? So we'll take that 10,575, the broker's share is 30%. Remember I know that, or you know that, because up here it told you that the sales associate's share was 70%. If the sales associate got 70%, then the broker got 30%. So we'll take the 10,575 times 30%, and the broker's share of this commission is 31,7250. Again, I've warned you several times through these videos to be careful. Chances are all of these other numbers that you see, the 21,150, the 10,575, okay, chances are all of these will appear as answers, but remember, they're wrong answers. So make sure that you're answering the question that you're being asked. This specifically asks you for the broker's share of the commission, which is the number that you need to find.